Hey there, thank you for joining me in another episode of our Medieval Dynasty, the solo playthrough. Uh, if you have seen the previous episode, you know that we found a living companion for Slavoslav. So right now we're actually at four villagers. We have Barar, Frida, Huberta and Slavoslav. So two hunters, a lumberjack and an herbalist. The hunters are providing meat only. I'll explain that later. The lumberjacker is kind of providing sticks and uh, logs and planks and everything a little bit. What I want to do first of all is finish my little house. Because I am building all the houses along this, well, the start of a road I should say. And also talk about a little change I made to the customized settings here. Let me show that to you. Normally I don't mess with these settings. The only thing that I did is selected fast crafting which I think makes for a better viewing experience. For the rest, I didn't do anything. Uh, I don't even know. I didn't even know this option was here because I never checked this out. I usually leave it at the default settings because I'm on the challenge. But let me show you the difference. So fast crafting will craft the whole batch in one go. It will take a little bit longer, but not longer overall. So let's see, I'll just do eight. And instead, instead of crafting eight times, it will craft one time a batch of eight which is in this case is 16 planks. So you can see that it takes a little bit longer, but overall it's a faster process. And I think also leads for a better viewing experience, which I also do on my live streams. And yeah, I'm really happy with that change because it makes it more bearable to craft, for example, at some point I will craft probably 40, 50 uh, items at once. Especially when I start hunting, because that is the plan in this episode, to really start focusing on hunting, which is a really great money maker I've learned. So my house is done, and I'm actually going to assign myself here. Already I am assigned because I demolished my own little house that I had over there. So we only have the resource storage because it'll ultimately the plan is to have this whole area filled up with farm fields and orchards and animals and things like that. So the living facilities will be along here. I'll dig out this road some more. All right, so I cleared up the area a little bit. Let's see if I can pull my orchard through. Let me see where. Uh, this looks fine. Now hopefully I can pull it through all the way. Perfect. Let's uh, put a road alongside of it. And that will give us enough room for a couple of houses again. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks really nice. Well, this looks like a nice area for a house here. Try to make it kind of even with the path. So at least we can then recruit another villager. I'm not sure what uh, what kind of job we have at the moment uh, and what we want to focus on. So unfortunately, I don't have all the logs and the materials yet to uh, finish off the house. Um, I will just wait for my lumberjacker to uh, put some more into the resource storage when he gathers them. Uh, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hunt or try to. It's a good money maker. We have a bow, a couple of arrows. It's not really, really great, but we should be able to manage. First, I'm going to make sure I have some food on me. All right, I see some deer there, but I think I scared them off already. The hunt was pretty successful, so I was able to uh, get a couple of meat here. I have some ladder on me too, so I can turn that into ladder bags. And with our speed crafting, that goes pretty fast now, so that, uh, that is really very up. And the meat I will either cook into some dishes that I can sell, or 
um, simply into roasted meat, but very likely I will make, try to make some potages and uh, sell those. They sell for a lot more. All right, so I finished that house off. So we have one house available now for somebody to be recruited. Very likely in farmer, to be honest. And uh, this is the new house. So I'm gonna see if I can actually flirt with a lady and uh, maybe she's a farmer. Or otherwise I have to recruit a farmer for our little chickens. There's still little chicks right now, so they're not producing any feathers or any eggs. But uh, next season, I think they will be grown up. So at that moment, they will start producing. And yeah, we need somebody to uh, take care of them. How is life treating you? Uh, let's do romance. You seem very interesting. Can I ask you something? Uh, let's start with what brought you here. The land. Maybe I'll start. You can read the answers if you want. I'm kind of looking for the affection change. So this was plus five affection. Tell me something about your birthplace. Okay. I read it really quickly, but yeah, it shows that uh, she's pretty open to that kind of uh, dialogue, I guess. So now we can actually already get married. In the base game, it never used to be possible in one game. You, in one day, you, you could only talk like four or five times, then they would say, come back tomorrow. Great. Settlement. Very surprising. But yes, in the base game you can't do that in one day. At least not that I know of. Alright, so now what can we do with her as a job? Because she's an extractor excavator. Um Yeah, she's not much of a farmer. But we still have that house available, of course, so I might actually be able to get a farmer recruited. Not sure if I have the reputation for that, we'll find out. And none of these people are really happy farmers. The third icon, so that is not gonna work. That is disappointing. Aha! Two level in hunting, but also we caught a bird. There we go. Uh, new level in hunting. That's our first skill point, actually. Uh, I will do steadier aim. God knows when I need it. Alright, let's sell some stuff. So you can see the potages they sell for 20 each. So that is really, really nice. Simple bags, also 6. So that gives us quite a bit of coin. Um, I do need a farmer though, so I might actually go to another town, see if we can recruit a farmer. Or my little, uh, chickens. Skaki that has this really awesome bell here. It's always funny. It really looks like it's announcing a new visitor, so I think that's hilarious. And then the people themselves, they're looking for a settlement or for a job, they're sitting over here in this area. Ah, four people, so hopefully we can find a farmer. Ah, lady on the left. Yep. We can talk to her just to be on the safe side. Could you tell me something about your skills? Uh, farming is okay, she really likes it. I hope I have the rep. No, we don't have the rep at this moment, so that is a waste of coin. I need 600 rep. Okay. Is there anything I can do for a, maybe a quest in this village here? Is there anybody that has a quest for me that I can do? Get a little bit of rep. Where are we at anyways? I need 100 rep. Let's check the map. Normally you can see this on the map. Yeah, there's somebody here that has a quest for me. That's behind me. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm ashamed to even ask since I usually handle everything on my own. I have a craving for trying something new. Uh, yeah, what? 
nothing of the sort. It's a mundane matter. Okay. So he wants to be a carpenter. He doesn't want to be a miner. Okay, what what do you need? Uh, I still intend to work as a miner, but after hours I would like to cut and drill the softwood for a change. Okay, so he wants material. Okay. What do you need? Let's check the quest here. Ten logs and seven planks. Oh wow, that is actually, that is enough. That would allow me to recruit that lady. Ten logs and seven planks. Uh, that is painful because I cannot cut planks here. Ah, crap. Crap, 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 crap. How much do I have? Okay, we'll have to travel back and forth. How do you do? So we have to go back. So I have to get the logs and uh, just cut some planks at my own little settlement here. And then uh, we're going to go back, hopefully in time, to recruit our lady. Where is he at? Okay, he's over there. Hey, I smell of fresh resin. You must be returning with my resources. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. I wouldn't be able to gather them on my own. Uh, I could use some decent tools. This won't be a problem. What do you need? Oh, crap. It's a follow-up quest. Ah, okay. So the... Yep, because he doesn't give the rap until you finish the whole quest chain. Well, lucky for us, that lady is in this village, but, I mean, I'm, I'm running out of coins. I can't keep using the cap back and forth here. Ah, there she is, I think. Okay. Miner Himmelslav from Skanky would like to take up carpentry. Why would he do that? Okay. We'll just listen. Can you give me some tools anyways? I don't want to go back empty-handed. So she's going to probably give us a quest, too. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. I just wanted to do my part as promised. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't have the coins anymore now. Nope. <laughs> that was uh, an expensive day. Right, I can cook some more food, and now we'll make some more leather bags. I can sell in the morning. It's already pretty late. And in the background, you can hear my new wife. She's already cleaning the house. and uh, Because I didn't give her a job yet. Uh, she's an extractor slash excavator. So I should really make a little uh, stone shed for her so she can dig some stones. Which she really likes doing. So don't hold it against me. Got some bags. 35. That is really good. That is really good. Wondered what a world without kings would look like. I should probably interact with her a little bit. It's you again. You look like you could use some water. Uh, plum juice, thank you. Okay. You'd be well, my love. Good luck. Nice. So we got production. Let's see what we get there. Two points. Uh, insulating walls. Let's do less durability for hammers. And then faster crafting in a workshop smithy, in a sewing hut, or in the kitchen. Mm, I'll do the kitchen. Alright, the excavation shed is done, so I can put my wife to work. I know that is not cruel, because she really likes actually doing that kind of job. Yes, she is. She likes extracting and excavating, so it make, makes her actually happy. I'm doing her a favor. So let's assign her. And let's see. What do we need? Uh, I want a fair amount of copper ore, though. And for the rest, I'll just focus on stone. Clay and limestone are used for insulating, and I, at this point, I, I don't care much for that. So it's, we have to get her a tool, some pickaxes. All right, let's sell some stuff. Uh, we have 29 potages on us. I'll sell 27 of them. 
she doesn't really have much money left, so let's go to somebody else. Hello. Uh, we should have some bags. Okay, there you go. So oh, that's better. Look at that go. That goes a lot faster. There you are. Here, Tolislava recommended them to herself. They are the finest. I'm not going to challenge her opinion. Great, let's listen. Many thanks. Good luck with your carpentry. Blah, 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 blah. Take these ores. Okay. Three iron ore, plus two on a wrap. Okay, okay, okay. We'll put those in storage so we can make at some point we can craft some iron tools from that. But right now, we need to recruit that uh, wonderful lady. She's going to take care of our chicks. I believe it was her. Yep. Hello. Great, see you there. Yeah. That's a sign now right away. Uh, did we unlock anything? Okay, was probably an old message. Ah, uh, there you go. We'll assign you to this simple house. And then you're going to be assigned to the hen house. There's really not much we can do with the hen house right now, because the, the chickens are not old enough, so they don't produce anything. But uh, we'll just set it up either way. Well, next season, I'll just do 60, 40. The chickens produce feathers, but I think the geese produce the most feathers per animal, so to speak. We can try to do this quest, and uh, they want a wooden shovel and simple pack times six. But that should not be a problem. I just have to kill some animals. Alright, so I was able to craft a shovel, kill some animals, so we have the leather bags available. So now I have to run back to town and turn that quest in before it's too late. But actually, you can wake them up. If you have a quest to be turned in, then uh, even when they're sleeping, they will be willing to talk to you. So you can turn a quest in. Ah. How can I help you? Did anyone here order a shovel and bags? That would be me. Thanks a lot. Here's your payment. See you around. Nice. Our quartermaster is a good fellow. So I was looking at my food storage. Um, I'm almost out of cabbage, out of onion. You need the onion for the, the meat with gravy. You need the cabbage for the potages. And the carrot, you can actually mix two. Um, I don't have the meat right now, but what I can do is actually unlock that. So we can start working on those carrots and uh, bring those down a little bit. So it's the last day of fall, last day of autumn. And we're on our way to the town again to hopefully sell some stuff. I actually did find my golden ring in my storage. Uh, I once found it at uh, one of those uh, deserted houses. And I was going to use it to seduce a woman and becoming my wife. But since I didn't need that ring to do that, we don't want to spoil her. So it's probably best if I sell it and use it for some other resources. Hello. So it sells for 375, which is really nice. Okay. Uh, she's actually the, the one that I was looking for, because we want to buy the iron crossbow. Here it is. It's pricey. It'll have to do. We have 73 coins over. I'm not sure if I can buy a couple of bolts for that. A wooden bolt. I, I don't want to be using a wooden bolt, though. How much are the other ones? The copper bolt is 18 each. Ooh. Let's do that, then. And now, we're almost broke. 
Best goods in the realm. Good luck. All right, there's a deer. So let's see how this goes. Okay, I would say this goes a lot faster. Well, that was a headshot, so I was kind of lucky there. We gained the skill point in production. Oh, bunny. Let's see what we can do with that one. One point. Faster crafting. Faster crafting the sewing hard cooking. Faster building. This is great because it stacks and it makes building a lot easier. A lot faster, I should say. So in order for me to craft those arrows, those copper balls, I actually need to put down a smithy. Because I don't have one yet. So I can squeeze it in here. Alright, I should have the resources for this. Should be a quick build. And now on the left hand side on the bottom you see that green little circle that is basically the increase in build speed and that can stack up if you have enough talent points in there up to three times i only have one talent point so right now it gives me i think a boost of 10 percent building speed which is fantastic all right so the smithy has been completed i actually had some copper bars so let's see where i can Wooden tools, stone tools. Okay, so probably at the anvil. Uh, couple weapons. Couple bolt. We need ten feathers. Okay, I hope I have that. Uh, yeah, we do. Great. That should craft 10 copper bolts for me, hopefully. There we go. So we have 14 of those. So when you go to your map, you can actually sort it by different filters. Um, but I was looking at wild animals. There's actually a white-tailed eagle here. Let's see if I can hunt some down. Let's see if I have some luck. There's a bird. see one there's one to the right I think okay we got that one the other one is on the left there I think I believe they get 20 feathers. Let's double check on that. Uh, 30! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot more than I thought. Uh, let's first load our crossbow. Okay, good. Is that another deserted house over there? I don't think I've been in that one. So let's go check that out. Oh, there's, there's deer. But let's check this house out. I don't think I've been here. Whoa. Looks pretty cool. Can I get in here? No. Animal feet. I don't need to straw. Uh, to crouch. I think. Crouch, okay. Crouch again, I guess. Uh, bronze sickle. Very welcome. Flex is also welcome. You can use that. Potion of strength and wool thread. Okay. Little bottle. Beer bottle. I think it's... 
Good to sell. Oh, stone axe. Almost missed this. Well, it's not really spectacular. Oh, there's a bottle here too. Beer bottle. And about 500 gold? Or 50? Oh, I was about to say, whoa. That would be crazy. Just empty. Uh, you can use the wooden stool. That's funny. I guess I can sit on it. Anything else here? Crouch again. We've been in there. There might be something underneath here, right? Yeah, there we go. Rye grain. Okay, okay. A bag and some flour. Here we go. So now it's winter. First day of winter. And it's snowy everywhere. Great. It's a great season. Because it's easy for us to see rocks and uh, pick up the stones that way. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. Um, I think it was very productive. So, well. <laughs> heck, I got married. Yeah, we got married. We have some more villagers. Uh, we have a, a crossbow now, which makes hunting a lot easier. And now the task is to prepare for winter because it's going to be cold. And there's the message right away. So we have to buy some warm clothing, but that, uh, that should be doable. Either way, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you guys will be there next time. Bye-bye.